Are you tired of spending hours cooking and serving plates of food that taste great but look just about okay? Well then this video is definitely for you. This time I'm taking a deep dive into the vibrant world of colour theory. To transform your dish from the mundane to the magnificent, we'll learn how top chefs use colour not only to make their dishes pop but also to enhance the perceived flavour. Remember, as I always say, we eat with our eyes first. Mastering these five colour theory secrets can be the difference between a forgettable meal and an unforgettable dining experience. The colours on your plate do more than just look pretty, they actually play a big role in how we experience food. When your dish is colourful, it doesn't just catch the eye, it can make the food taste even better. It's about psychology. For example, bright and varied colours signal freshness and flavour, making our brains anticipate a delicious meal. I mean, have you ever noticed how a dull, colourless meal feels less appetising? That's because we're wired to be drawn to vibrant colours. They hint at a variety of flavours and nutrients, making the meal more inviting. So this is where knowing just a little bit of colour theory can really make your dishes come alive. It's not just about cooking. It's about creating a visual story on the plate that complements the flavours. So as we delve into the science and secrets of colour theory, keep in mind you're not just adding colour for the sake of it, you're crafting an experience that appeals to all the senses. With a few tweaks and a bit of knowledge, you can turn any meal into feast for both the eyes and the palate. So are you ready to explore how colour can change the way you cook? Let's start this colourful journey and see how a splash of colour can make your dishes irresistible. But first, we need to talk about the colour wheel what it is and why it's important to improving how our food looks. Now there's a whole science to colour theory, but in a nutshell, it's a fundamental tool in understanding colour relationships. It has its origins back in the 17th century with Sir Isaac Newton. Newton first demonstrated the colour spectrum as a circle in his experiments with prisms and light. Over the century it's evolved, and today the colour wheel is an integral part of various fields, including art, design, photography and fashion, for creating harmonious and appealing colour schemes. The colour wheel is a circle made up of 12 colours, three primary, red, yellow and blue, and nine secondary colours. Secondary colours are created by mixing two primary colours together. The three primary colours can also be mixed together to create a variety of shades, tints and tones. Shades are created by adding black to a colour, tints are created by adding white, and tones are created by adding grey. Colours can also be classified as warm or cool. Warm colours are associated with energy and excitement, while cool colours are associated with calmness and relaxation. Clearly there is more to colour theory, but I think for our purposes, that's about enough. So let's now look into how the wheel can help us with our colour selections and elevate our plating. This is where the colour wheel can become your best friend in the kitchen. Complementary colours are opposite each other on the wheel. They have a special magic when paired together in your dishes. Think about pairing oranges with blues or reds with greens. Just check out this dish with wonderfully deep reds of the munjack deer and beetroot the earthy brown of the hens of the wood mushrooms, all of which complement the vibrant green of the kale. It's not just appealing, it feels naturally balanced in the brilliant design of an autumnal dish by Chef Ben Watson. I'll link to my podcast with Ben at the end of this video, so you can hear him talk all about his inspirations and actually watch him plate this dish. The dish works because complementary colours create a visual harmony that's pleasing to the eye. It's like they're meant to be together, and when they are, they make the dish pop. The tones of the ingredient really remind me of autumn too. It looks just so comforting, warming and welcoming. These combinations aren't just about looking good though, they enhance the overall appeal of the dish, making it much more enticing. Using complementary colours is about striking the right balance. You don't want one colour to overpower the other. Instead, aim for pleasing contrast that highlights the best of both. It's a simple trick, but it can really transform your cooking. Analogous colours are those that sit next to each other on the colour wheel, and they work together to create a harmonious and pleasing look on your plate. Using analogous colours in food presentation is about creating a sense of unity and cohesion. Here is an example with red which sits next to rust, which in turn sits next to terracotta. Now have a look at this dish called cornflake, which is a blend of colours from white to yellow to brown. These colours naturally complement each other because they share a common hue and are close in the spectrum. These combinations are soothing to the eye and suggest a natural blending of flavour. This dish also works really well because of the selection of textures that have been added. It's got popcorn, peanuts and a miso crumb. But to be honest, textures the discussion for another video. But if you'd like to see that video, let me know in the comments below, along with any other areas of plate design that you'd like me to explore. When you use analogous colours, you're tapping into a palette that's often found in nature, which can make your dishes feel more organic and wholesome. It's about layering shades and textures within a specific colour range to create a dish that's not just a treat for the taste buds, but also a visual delight. This approach to colour in cooking is particularly effective for dishes which emphasise freshness and health. By choosing ingredients with similar but slightly varied hues, you can create a meal that's not only delicious but also visually cohesive and appealing. As we continue our journey through colour theory, remember that sometimes the beauty of your dish can come from the subtle blending of shades, just like in a finely painted canvas. As usual, I'm so grateful that you've taken the time to watch this video, but if I may, I'd like to request a small favour and ask you to kindly hit that subscribe button. 
It's such a boost for me and the growth of this channel. Plus, it will also enable me to create more content like this. If you're interested in more insights on culinary presentation and the art of plating, you know what to do. This concept involves understanding the psychological effects of warm and cool colours and how they can influence the perception of your dishes. Warm colours like reds, oranges and yellows are associated with warmth and comfort. They tend to invoke feelings of coziness and appetite stimulation. Think back to that monk jack dish earlier. For me, and Ben the chef who intentionally designed it this way, the mix of reds, greens and browns evoke the warm feeling of being inside on a cold day. These colours make us think of hearty, comforting meals, perfect for creating that sense of warmth and satisfaction. Yeah, it's quite autumnal, like I was saying. It's quite dark. Yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously, the little flashes of green in there just to sort of give it a little bit of colour, because I know... It definitely needs the green, so, doesn't it, I think? Yeah, I've been doing spring and summer. I've used a lot of sort of flowers from the garden, mm. like borage flowers and that bright blue, little stuff like that. Uh, a lot of herbs, like bright greens and blues and stuff that kind of make sense in the summer and winter, but I think... Yeah. Sing down with that, like a glass of red wine in the sort of like candlelight in a sort of like winter's evening. It's kind of, yeah, again, that kind of like makes sense to me. On the other hand, though, cool colors such as blues, greens, and purples are calming and refreshing. They're often used in dishes that are light and revitalizing. And the colors in this dessert suggest freshness and lightness, making them ideal for salads, seafood dishes, and summer desserts. The key to using color temperature in cooking is to match the color with the mood and style of the dish. For a cozy winter meal, Warm colours make the food more inviting and hearty. In contrast, a summer lunch might benefit from the refreshing feel of cool colours. So by understanding and applying the concept of colour temperature in your dishes, you can enhance the overall dining experience by creating a mood and atmosphere that complements your dish. This secret of colour theory offers a powerful tool for chefs and home cooks alike, allowing you to subtly influence how your food is perceived and enjoyed. often mistakenly referred to as just black and white. Monochrome actually comes from the Greek for mono, meaning one, and chroma meaning color. A monochromatic scheme means using one color, for example, blue, in varying tones, tints, and shades. So what's the effect of this? Well, it can lead to a harmonious, visually cohesive look, resulting in stunning and sophisticated dishes. Monochromatic color schemes are all about depth and texture within a single color palette. This approach can turn a simple dish into an elegant and creative expression of the chef. And in my opinion, it's one of the hardest color techniques to get right. More than any other type of color theory, a chef needs a confidence and a clarity of vision to pull this off. It's something I discussed recently with Chef Alex Nike in a recent episode of the podcast. We're back into monochromatic plating again. Yep. So there's all creams and white as soon as dark. Yep. So that's where I've, I'm taking these ideas from okay. these people. I really aspire to, you know, using a single color yep. um, throughout a dish. Okay. I, I quite enjoy that. Yep. And it, again, it's that element of surprise. And you yeah. think, oh, everything's green on this plate. What, what is everything? I did see a dish a while ago. I went to go and do a video of a chef down in Brighton where he did black plate with like a black squid ink risotto. And then I can't remember what, the, I think it was a squid or something on top. So it was, it was literally all black, which was pretty stunning. And again, it's just a bit of a shock to see that. And see black food, black plate. Okay. Uh, we do have a plate which is fairly monochromatic. All right, go on then. I managed to forget about this one. Um, <laughs> so it's a steam piece of plate. So it is a white fish, yep. um, but we do a charcoal infused beurre blanc because we call it a beurre noir and it's served on a black plate. Uh -huh. um, okay. The sauce is black. Yep. It covers the white fish. Yep. And there's some marenka, which is smoked herring roe yep. and some crispy play skin. So yeah. from the offset, it, it does look all black. Mm. And then when you cut into the yeah. fish, you have the white center of the fish. It's just really pop. Yeah. Using monochromatic color scheme isn't just about sticking to one color. It's about exploring a range within that color. It's going to challenge you to think about the ingredients and shades and hues, considering how a lighter or darker version of a color can add contrast and interest to your dish. This approach to cooking and presentation shows that sometimes simplicity can be the most sophisticated choice. By focusing on one color, but varying the shades, you can create a dish that is both visually appealing and thoughtfully composed. It's a testament to the idea that a limited color palette doesn't limit creativity, but opens up a world of culinary possibilities. This concept is about creating striking visual appeal by pairing colors that stand out against each other, making your dishes not only delicious, but a feast for the eyes. Color contrast in culinary presentation involves colors that are distinctly different from each other, creating a bold and eye-catching display. This can be achieved by pairing light and dark colors or by using colors from opposite ends of the color wheel. For example, check out this wonderful pavlova from Chef Paul Foster. The wonderful whiteness of his meringue contrasts sharply with the bright reds and deep purple, making the strawberries and blackberries pop. 
resulting in a high contrast and really impactful dessert. Don't forget the plate can also be used in colour theory. This mackerel heritage beetroot salad is a great example of using a deep blue dish to contrast the orange of the fish and vibrancy of the purple pickled onions. The successful to colour contrast is to not overdo it. The colours should complement but not compete with each other. So this method of presentation is particularly effective for dishes where you want to highlight a specific ingredient or create a focal point on the plate. In my opinion, colour contrast is perhaps one of the simplest but most powerful tools in a chef's arsenal. As I wrap up this exploration into colour theory in the kitchen, let's circle back to the fundamental theme, how to unlock the power of colour in your cooking to elevate any dish from ordinary to extraordinary. The five colour theory secrets covered in this video were complementary colours, the art of pairing opposite colours on the colour wheel for dynamic and appealing dishes, analogous colour schemes, how neighbouring colours can work together to create a harmonious and pleasing visual experience, colour temperature, using warm and cool colours to evoke specific moods and enhance the overall appeal of the dish, monochromatic colours, the elegance and sophistication achieved by exploring different shades and tints within a single colour, and then finally, colour contrast, the dramatic effect of pairing contrasting colours to make your dishes visually striking and memorable. By applying these secrets, you can start to say goodbye to dull food and enter a world where every dish is a visual treat. I encourage you to experiment with these principles in your own kitchen, play with colours, textures and flavours to transform your colour creations into art. And if you've enjoyed this journey into the colourful world of cooking, you'll love my Food Envy podcast right here on this channel. It's where I talk to professional chefs in their kitchens about the visual side of food, who inspires them, and we even watch live demos as they showcase their plating skills and techniques. It's a fascinating dive into the minds of culinary experts and a chance to see firsthand how they bring beauty and flavour to every plate. So for more insights into the art of cooking and captivating conversation with pro chefs, be sure to check out the Food Envy podcast. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to stay updated with the latest content. Your engagement helps us all to grow and to learn from each other, turning every meal into a visual feast. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, keep creating those dying fables worth telling.